to yourself. Always remember to love yourself for all situations. When you get up in the morning, simply go to a window, open the window, and, and shout out what a wondrous, glorious, and loving day it is. And it shall be a wondrous, glorious, and loving day. And that is what you want all the time. You want to continue uh, receiving love from uh, the universe and, of course, the universe. Mm. As the universe sends it right back to you. So continue sending forth these love vibrations and you will receive love vibrations in return. And uh, if you send out uh, what you call negativity, you're going to get negativity back. So don't do that. Always send out positive affirmations, positive, uh, which is called um, transmissions from yourself. You do not want to draw yourself down into the lower understandings because you are not a lower understanding. You are fifth. D, 5D, and that is what you need to get your uh, your your my your uh, heart, mind, and your body to accept that you are in fifth dimension, not third or fourth, but fifth. Uh, this is you know your planet that you that you are a, a guest upon, and uh, all populations are only a guest upon her. She is your host. Treat her properly. Treat her with love. Treat her with compassion. And also treat all those around you with love and compassion as well. Always remember that you are just a guest upon this world. You are not a permanent resident. That is what you need to understand. And you also need to understand that giving forth a positive love vibration out from you will make your day. He is also he is also a messenger who has been bringing forth the message of truth about what is going on, about what mm-hmm. will be going on, and. Uh, so he is another messenger, but he is more in uh, uh, in the forefront uh, or advanced, which call advanced team, if you will, uh, of knowledge that is being brought forth to him. He he is receiving his communications from the former uh, President Kennedy and uh, other beings who have. Uh, who have ascended? So uh, Kennedy is just one of the, one of, a, of several, and of course he will let you know who they are when he comes to speak. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, as as yes. we, as it is said in many instances. So, without further ado, okay, uh, Ted, please uh, take over and welcome to our show. Oh, thank you so much, Jane. I really appreciate it. Um, And Zora, thank you so much for your, and Billy, thank you so much for your kind words words earlier. It's not not been an easy journey for me me here, but um, I'm glad to be here. (laughs) I, um, I, it's funny, um, I had a a near-death experience many years ago back in uh, January, February, January 78, where I was hit head-on by a, by a drunk driver, and, um, uh, I almost died in the accident, um, but I lived, and when I was recuperating uh, at my parents' farm outside of Olympia, Washington in April of 78, I'll never forget the day uh, when I was back in the middle of their woods. They had these beautiful woods, and the sun was coming through this this misty, uh, cloudy morning, this misty, foggy morning. And uh, I asked God why why I was spared, and the answer I got was that I had a lot more work to do. And I was here for a purpose. Well, it took me a long time to realize that purpose, but <coughs> pardon me. Back in the Atlantean days, I was one of the the people, the light workers back then, twelve thousand five hundred years ago, who tried to stop a small um, cabal, if you will, a military group, 
political group from destroying the planet, um, well, we, we failed, um, and um, they ended up destroying much of the planet. Um, but uh, the good news is that we're back again, and this time we're going to win. <laughs> no matter what they do, um, they've lost the battle, and as, as Zora said, um, uh, we are on track to create a beautiful, bright, uh, benevolent civilization. Uh, from what Jack Kennedy, John, uh, President Kennedy has told me, it's the destiny of this planet to create a, become a, a far better and much, much, uh, much more benevolent planet. A planet that's going to, going to be free of poverty, free of war, uh, free of want, basically. When we become, we realize that we are, all are, all are a very powerful spiritual beings. And that's what I like about, uh, your, your message, message, Zora, is that you, you said before that we all have the ability, for example, to heal ourselves, and that's absolutely true. Um, I experienced that um, in September this, this year when I was camping at uh, Mount Shasta. Every year I go, I go twice a year to Mount Shasta because I always love seeing my Telosian friends and, and um, connecting with them, and uh, who are wonderful spiritual people, for example, in their mid-60s or 70s, and they look like they're in their 30s or 40s. It's just, it's just amazing. But, um, you know, we're going to face some challenges. Uh, the fires in California were disturbing, um, uh, but they were, from what I'm told, they were directed energy weapons, and they were done by the cabal. It's kind of a last... They know they've lost, uh, but it was kind of a, a last... Um, a, a last hurrah, or a last... Or analogous to uh, the Battle of the Bulge, maybe in World War II, where... The negative entities are trying one last time to instill fear. It won't work um, because the, the, the planet is um, becoming uh, lighter and lighter and the vibrations are rising. Um, I'll give you one example. <clears throat> For tens of thousands of years, what's called the, 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 um, the Schumann residence or the vibration of planet Earth was at 7.8 hertz. That was true up until September of 2016 when it almost doubled to 13.8 hertz. Since that time, it's gone way up well over 200, and as recently as October 22nd, it uh, climbs as high as 427 hertz. Now, the frequency of love is 528 hertz, and that's going to be reached soon. And, and as the vibrations go higher and higher on this planet, negative governments, negative people, negative institutions, um, they, will not, they, they will find it very difficult staying here on planet Earth because the vibrations will literally get too high for them. They'll either, they have a choice, they can either change and go along with the new program for a beautiful new or Earth, or they will exit, like George Bush just exited here a couple of days ago, and they'll go to another planet, on the, as Doris said, on the other side of uh, the solar system, our sister Earth, but that's in a lower vibration of the third dimension, where they'll work out their karma, from what I understand, for one Katoon Mayan cycle, which is 25,800 years. Now, for me, that's a long time, but in the greater scheme of, of the Earth, maybe that's not a long time to them, but it's their choice. John McCain went there, I know. Other negative entities are either going to go there um, uh, or are already there now. So I wish them well, because energy, once, once created, is never destroyed. It just transforms itself. And the Earth itself is like a huge spiritual um, school. We're all in learning. And, and whenever you run into a negative entity, I think it's very important to realize to treat them with as much love and respect as possible and don't go down to their, to their negative level. If you can do that, then that usually um, is, is, the, is the best course. I know it's hard sometimes dealing with negative entities. We have a lot of them on this planet. I've always thought planet Earth is as a big mixed bag. <laughs> but um, um, President Kennedy is here, and he wants to give a couple of messages. Is that okay by, by bringing him in? Oh, absolutely. Thank, Thank you very okay, much. Okay, yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Ted. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, let me bring him in here. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of like a telephone, and I transmit messages back and forth, and he's saying that um, he has never stopped being your president. Um, still our president of the United States on the other side, and has been since he was assassinated back on November 22nd, 1963. He said that if he had lived, um, we would be on a different timeline by now, and we would have free energy. Uh, disease would be practically eliminated, as would poverty. 
our longevity would have doubled or tripled um, to 150, easily 250, 225 years. War would be a thing of the past. We would now be exchanging ambassadors uh, with with uh, representatives of other advanced um, human and non-human um, benevolent civilizations off planet. Um, but he also says in the same breath that even though um, the negative entities here on the planet try to alter history, they could not alter our destiny. And he says it's our destiny to become a very loving, kind, benevolent uh, planet, and this is what's happening now. No matter what the negative forces do, um, um, they can't stop it. Period. Um, and um, <clears throat> this is why. They're, but they're a little bit like a a, a a cornered animal that they know that they've lost, but that, so they're going to be very desperate and try anything they can to disrupt it. But just remember um, that that we are destined to become a very uh, benevolent, benevolent and, and loving planet. And what that means is that. We're going to have a beautiful future for our children and our children's children for succeeding generations. Just keep your, he says, keep, keep, remember that, no matter what you're dealing with, any kind of um, negativity. The other thing he says, too, is that little things count, even though they don't be not small. When you're out in the street, for example, and you see somebody homeless, acknowledge them, talk to them. Um, if you don't, give them a little money, but if you don't have any money, just give them some words of encouragement, because you'd be surprised how important that is on the spiritual side of things. Um, as I, I grew up in a psychic family, and for me, it was normal to talk to um, spirits on the other side. And one of the most important things that they've told me, the spirits have told me, is that you'd be surprised, of, for example, they gave me, uh, you'd be surprised how important little things can be. For example, um, there was one instance they told me about a lawyer who made all this money and, and was very successful in third dimensional sense, but the most important thing spiritually he ever did, this lawyer did, even though he won lots of cases, the most important thing spiritually he ever did was sit down and talk to a homeless person um, in this big city up in Canada, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and console this lady about uh, her problems and, and try to be of help and give her, give her thoughts and person. And as a result of that talk, that woman was able to turn around her life and get off the street and... Uh, and try and move from being homeless to a productive and happy, happy life. So those little things do count, and every minute counts, too. Um, I remember talking to Zora on my radio show a, a, a month or two ago, and I asked him about this particular time, this fall, as a turning point in human history. And his response was, every minute counts, every day counts. So make every minute count and make every, every day count. And remember that we are all powerful spiritual beings, and we all have that spark of the Creator with, within us um, to create a beautiful and, and, and bright bright planet. Yeah, also, I want to tell you, um, guess who was in the North Korea and Trump agreement here uh, earlier this year for peace? Uh, excuse me. Uh, Ted, could you repeat that again? Sure. President Kennedy is, has been working for peace on the other side. And as an, uh -huh. one example of that, he told me about this a year ago, but he told me to keep quiet. He says, it's okay to tell now about it. A year ago, I was speaking to him, and he said, Ted, I want you to keep this quiet, but I've been working on a peace initiative with several countries. That's all I can say. And I said, okay, understood. And now I knew where he was working. He was working with the minds of President Trump and Kim Jong-un in North Korea. And he said he worked behind the scenes with their subconscious and conscience about finding ways to peace, because they both wanted to find peace, and he was able to help bridge that gap. And um, he said that even though you may disagree with Trump, and personally I do, some of the decisions, some are good, some, you know, some not so good, but overall, what the best thing to do with, with any um, elected officer uh, like is to send him lots of love and light and give him support, because Jack says that President Kennedy has said that you know, when he was president, there were many people who disagreed with his decisions as well. 